I'm Stephanie Langston for Y'all Wire in Nashville, taking you on set of Sarah Darling's new music video, Home to Me. How much fun is this? I am having such a great time. And look at look at the weather. It's absolutely gorgeous today. I couldn't be happier right now. It's a gorgeous day in a gorgeous place. We're in White's Creek, Tennessee. White's Creek, Tennessee. And you know, ironically, when I first moved to Nashville, I, I grew up in Iowa, and one of my first gigs was singing at this little restaurant called the Star Cafe. It's not even here anymore in White's Creek. So it's kind of interesting to be shooting a music video here. I've, I've always thought how beautiful it is. It's just gorgeous. Well, did you have anything to do with picking the location? I didn't. I, You know what? Becky Fluke is my director and she's incredible. She went out and scouted all over you know, Tennessee. I mean, obviously Tennessee is so gorgeous, but we wanted, you know, just this really beautiful open openness, and this is just such a perfect location. So set up the music video for us, the idea behind it, and what you guys are going to be doing in it. Basically, you know, the whole concept of the song is, you know, this person that you're with, no matter where you are, this person makes you feel like home. And we just kind of wanted to grasp this, you know, this freedom of falling in love, you know, and, and how that makes you feel. and and the wide open spaces of, um, of the scenery and just let it, you know, just kind of take you and, and it just, it's a beautiful love story. It's really just a beautiful love story. You and I will shoot. I the center of the universe. Hit the interstate pass, now I'm never looking back, no. Looking back, looking back, oh no. Got a heart like Indiana, laugh like Louisiana. So you're gonna be riding around in a car a lot throughout? Riding around in a car um, with a, a very handsome, handsome guy. So, spilled beans. Yeah. He's the guy. His name's <laughs> Carson, and he's an, he's a wonderful actor that uh, we got for this. And all the ladies are gonna love him. I can I already know. Has there been a love connection between you two on set? Sadly, no. <laughs> just just a video love connection, I guess. So, do you guys just ride around the whole time? Are there any other scenes that we'll see? Um, we're actually, I built this amazing little tent that um, we're going to kind of, you know, have like a little picnic um, under a weeping willow by the water. You yeah. actually built it? Well, I didn't build it, but <laughs> in the video I built this really amazing tent. It's very like anthropology meets free people, I feel like. And um, yeah, we're going to hang out under the tent, you know, and just have fun. This seems like the fun part of the job. This is the, I would say that, you know, when you get to make a music video, it's probably the most fun thing. Um, it's kind of taking the song and, you know, bringing it to life and capturing the essence of the song. And I think this song can relate to so many people of uh, just what it's about, because home is where the heart is. And no matter where you are, um, you know, you can feel like home. If that person makes you feel like home, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. And that's what people want. You enjoy living out the lyrics that you write. I do, I do. I and and I really can relate to this song because um, I do. You know, it kind of makes me think about being on the road, um, and you know, I'm actually in a long distance relationship for real. So it's it's kind of one of those things that this this song actually is uh, takes a deep meaning for me because I do travel all over. I'm in a bus, and um, you know, sometimes I'm at the mercy of Skype or you know, just being on the phone, and and it it works just the same. Anyway, you prep for a music video? Sleep. Yeah. <laughs> no, I try to make sure I get lots of sleep uh, just because it does take so much energy. Um, you know, just like, you know, being, you know, just making sure you're smiling and like, you know, energetically. But, you know, plenty of sleep, drinking lots of water and, you know, just just being excited and being in on the process. I think I've, I've been so involved with making this record and you know writing the treatment for the video you know Becky and I sat down and we talked about what we saw for the video it you know Nessa, we we kind of thought well maybe we could do this whole storyline and, and things like that but truthfully the song kind of tells a story itself and you know obviously having the love interest in the video and us just really just being in the moment of that freedom of falling in love is really what the this whole video is about. Well, the song has done really well. It's the highest digital single for female since Laura Elena. Yes, this yes, I'm so excited, and it's really promising. Uh, you know, the the song goes for radio ads on October 22nd, and Sirius XM has been really incredible about you know playing the song, and uh, you know we're just excited. I think what's happening is people are wanting the song and uh, it's just really an exciting thing. With the pressure like that of it being so successful already, is there extra pressure to make sure this video rocks? You know, yes. I mean, I, I feel like this video needs to showcase me. Um, you know, I've made some amazing videos in my career, but this is the one I feel like I just really want to showcase how, what a beautiful song it is, but also just the, the scenery 
and uh, the meaning of the song. And so this is an important one for me, I feel like. The last time we caught up with you on Y'all Wire, you had just made your Opry debut, which was in 2011. Yes. Since you've made it 20 times? Actually, 20, 21 times. 21 times. I know, I can't believe it. That's a long, a lot since it's, then. It's incredible. I consider it a blessing. I think that anytime I get to step in that circle, it's truly an honor to actually be there. And I, I feel grateful that they even involve me. I, I feel like it's... You know, it's just a wonderful organization to be a part of, and they don't ask everyone to be to be there all the time. So I, I take it every time I go. I, you know, I have my A game, and I just learn from the best. You know, I get to watch. You know, little Jimmy Dickens, you know, take the stage, and it makes me a better performer just being out there watching all these amazing people. You know, hit the stage, and and you know, I, I obviously have aspirations of you know, you never know. One day, maybe if I'm lucky, I might get to be an Opry member. Who knows? You know, never know. Obviously, Loretta Lynn just had her 50 years last yes. night, which was really cool. But, you know, I, I see that stuff and it gets me really excited. And um, it's always been a big part of my family playing the Opry. Awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you more at the Opry. But you've also been touring around. You just got back from a little whirlwind tour what, in New York. I did. Uh, this past weekend, I did um, a Fox and Friends. My first morning show went incredible. And also sang uh, God Bless America, the Mets game and uh, sang my brand new single on the out on first base, which was kind of fun. Uh, and uh, that went over really well, but also did some radio shoes up, shows up there. So it was a great weekend, really busy, and then come back, shoot a music video a day later. <laughs> Are you tired? I'm a little tired. <laughs> you still Hopefully great. I don't have bags under my eyes yet. No, it's still <laughs> gorgeous. Anything else you wanna share with us? No, no, just I'm excited and can't wait to get new music out to the fans. I've got the most loyal fans and I'm just excited to get this new project out. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank Sarah you.